This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global via Zoom. I'm joined by HS, Hamza Shiraz. Uh, nearly a punch-perfect performance last night, Hamza. Would you agree? Yeah, it was all right, man. It was all good. It was definitely different because of the whole lockdown uh, situation. But apart from that, it was good, man. It was good to be back in the ring after after eight months out. So, yeah, good to get the ball rolling again. Obviously, everyone loves a, a clean knockout. But was it a little bit more satisfying that they had to pull him out, uh, Paul Keane, and uh, he quit on his uh, stall? To be honest, I thought they'd pull him out two runs prior to that because when I was hitting him, I could just hear him wincing. Every time I hit him, I could hear him wincing. And I knew that he didn't want to be there. But, um, yeah, I suppose it is satisfying because it's something different, do you know what I mean? Someone quitting on their stool is just, it's just something different, isn't it? It's not, obviously, everyone loves a knockout, but someone quitting on their stool is just a, another box ticks, as they say. Of course, uh, you've had two step-ups now against Ryan Kelly and uh, last night against Paul Keane, and it uh, looks like you're getting better as the opposition's going up. That's encouraging. Yeah, no, man, listen, I, I said it before when I was fighting Jeremy, and I go, listen, as a... As, as soon as my opponents start stepping up, you'll start seeing a better a better HS, and that's exactly what you're getting. So in the future, let's see what's to come, man. That was to be honest with you, last night's performance was about, I'd say, not even not even fifty percent of what I can actually do or what or, or my best. So yeah, man, just looking forward, like I said, looking forward to the future and looking forward to get back in there again, man. I watched that video you put on your on your YouTube channel. Uh, yeah. There's a load of additions to your team. Obviously, Eddie's still there. But just run yeah. from who's helped you during this camp. All right. So basically, through this camp, obviously, Eddie's been the main coach, yeah, as he was in the corner. We've had Colin McMillan, former world champion, as you know. He's been the men my mentor. Like, after, like I said, after every training session he comes, he chats to me and he more like, just teaches the more, the more specifics about boxing. Then I've had um, Coach Sully. He's a pad man. Uh, he does like fast mitts. Keep, keeps me... Taking over, we've had Will Jones from um, Edge Gym because that's where we've been training now. Who else? We've got my uncle Goggs who does the body bag. We've got loads, man. We've got a whole new addition to the, like, a whole new addition to the team. And like yesterday's performance just showed a little bit of how everyone's input is helping and how everything's coming together, man. Tell me about Colin and how much of an influence he's been and how did he even join the team? How did that come about, Hamza? Uh, through my uncle Goggs, he, he knew Colin somehow. And then after my Ryan Kelly fight, he even sat down with him and go, listen, we would love to have you on board. Um, and he goes, listen, he goes, I'll mentor you for a bit and then uh, for one camp. And then after that, he goes, I'll start coaching you. So from, from now on, I think he'll be hopefully, hopefully coaching me alongside Eddie. But yeah, man, that's how you come on board. And the insight you get from him, from a former world champion, someone who's, like I said, well-respected, has been to the pinnacle of the sport before. The insight you get from him is something that is it, it just is just different. You can't get it from no one else, do you know what I mean? So, learning of him has just been been an eye opener. Well, it looks like the addition certainly made an improvement last night. Um, your fan base is is well known now. Like you have great support always. Obviously, not there last night. Did that actually help in some ways? Was it a hindrance? How, how did you feel about it? Listen, I, I reckon I would have got him out there in the first if I had my crowd. Because after that knockdown, if my crowd was there, you know, just like the Ryan, the Ryan Kelly fight, as soon as everyone started roaring, I just got to me and I just went for the finish. So I reckon I could have potentially got him out of there. But I think it was good to get the, the six rounds under my belt. It was good to get, get it under my belt. And yeah, man, just, just keep learning. Like, it's, it's experience at the end of the day. So I'm just, I'm just learning. I'm still 21 years old, do you know what I mean? So I'm just learning on the job, man. Obviously, in normal times, um, there's always boxing on and it's kind of overcrowded on telly. This was the first major show in the UK. So I'm sure yeah. the viewing figures last night would have been much higher than usual. So obviously, it's not ideal fighting in front of no fans, but the positive last night was you, you would have yeah. got a lot more profile from last night. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying before. The pedestal that that would have put me on last night and I had a decent performance as well, which put which was the icing on the cake, really. Um, yeah, man, it was good. But listen, at the end of the day, it was an experience. It was, you got to take the positive out of, out of a negative situation. Listen, I was one of the fortunate lot to get the ball rolling back in professional boxing in the UK. So I'm grateful for that, man. Did you feel the extra pressure last night? You know what I actually did for the first time, I actually did. Because although there was no one there, everyone was retweeting. 
tweeting it, putting it on their Instagram. We're going to watch it. We're going to be this. Because the first one back, everyone's going to watch it, isn't it? All the top pro boxers, all the world champions, everyone, even like some footballers and everything, they're all retweeting it. So I did feel it a little bit. But then as soon as the bell went, you forget about everything and you're just in your zone. And I was enjoying it ever since then, man. Of course, I'm sure you're going to have a nice little rest now. But any idea what the future uh, entails, especially the short future, when you could be back out next? Uh, hopefully within the next within within the next three months, I'm guessing. Hopefully something like that. I want to be active. I mean, I had a long layoff, eight months. Obviously, lockdown happened and and um, and everything. But I just want to be active, man, because an active fighter is a good fighter. Do you know what I mean? And um, yes, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. I hopefully get a bit of news in the next two weeks or so, and then once I get a date, hopefully I can confirm it on my social media. And then, like I said, get back to it. Get back to the drawing board. Well, there's quite a big show in October. That Frank Scott was really yeah. fun, Joyce. So I'm sure you got a little eye on that one. Yeah, no, it'd be wicked to get back on that one. And plus, that one's um, fans are allowed to come to that one as well. Do you know what I mean? So, I wouldn't be surprised in the in the next fight if I sell like like close to a thousand tickets or something like that. Honestly, because the the um, what do you call it? The thing I got last night. The um, I forgot the word. The the reaction, sorry, that's, that's the word. The reaction I got from last night's performance was mad, crazy, man. Everyone was like, when's the next fight? When can we come to it this Saturday? So, listen, HSR will be out in full force the next fight. All right, Hamza, well done last night uh, again, and uh, I'm sure we'll see you back in the ring soon, all right? Take care. Anything you want to add? No, nah, man, just thank you very much, man. Thank you for your time and everything, brother. All right, take care, man. I'll speak to you soon, all right, HS? All right.